Hi everyone, uh, my name is Thai. Uh, I'm the member of the technical team from Vietnam. And uh, I think uh, my uh, technical team did also in, in this meeting. Yeah, his name is Jung. Um, today, uh, we will introduce um, like uh, ICD 11 core updates. Uh, this is the, the latest to customer. Uh, let, let me share my screen. Um, uh, so I think all you can see my screen, right? Okay. Yeah, uh, that's all um, good. Uh, yeah, uh, first, uh, let me uh, have the uh, week um, introduce what is ICD 11. So, ICD stands for um, International Classification of Diseases, and uh, it's the international standard for uh, like uh, systematic recording, reporting, analysis, uh, interpretation, uh, interpretation, and uh, comparison for of uh, mortality and morbidity data. And uh, this is also used for national and international comparisons. Uh, ICD 11 is the 11 revision of this standard, and it's really in um, 2022. Um, many countries are currently trying to uh, see some new from ICD 10 to ICD 11. Um, but uh, how ICD 11 works? Um, Actually, all health conditions and uh, accidents are assigning to the ICD-11 cost. Um, there is around um, 17,000 cost. Um, uh, these costs are resulting in data that can be used by government to design effective uh, public health policies and uh, measure the, the impact or use for clinical recording. Um, in the majority of countries, there actually is implemented in um, uh, codification of the mortality and morbidity uh, remain low because um, because of uh, incomplete or inaccurate data which uh, lead to the gaps in data and uh, hinder the accuracy, uh, accuracy of uh, corpus statistics. No, because um, when they enter the corpus, they have to find the the right for the for the, for the, for the reason why they, they it's linked to the death. So, but you know, uh, there were around seventeen thousand um costs for the ICD eleven, so it may lead to like 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 the in incorrect data when they enter the court. <laughs> um, can I ask why? you to? Hit the slideshow button so it's full screen. Oh. Oh. Um, Thank you. So the ICD, that's why the um, Vietnam uh, decided to uh, develop the ICD element called this app. Uh, this is for the app use the data to tracker data model and a custom data to web application to facilitate the uh, digitizing the WSO standard medical service play of Um, in uh, and this can be used to implement it in the national data to system, uh, facilitate the ICD 11 coding for the underlying corpus and provide the apprentice analysis. Um, I, I hope uh, this short interview can uh, help you understand what I see the one is. Um, so uh, let's look at um, the app filter. So um, the first thing is about installation, like uh, when people first open in the app, uh, they will ask for um, installation and uh, we can choose, there are two options, the default and custom. Uh, yeah, we will demo it later. Like um, uh, for the data entry, um, the high worker, uh, high worker can input data directly into the app and eliminating the delay and reducing error associated with the coding in the manual register. Um, uh, the app is linked uh, with the IC11 browser for shutting the IC11 code for the call desk enter by the user and using the Doris tool uh, to automatically select the underlying call desk. Um, 
for the certificate uh, in the data entry, we can generate the custom data certificate with the uh, extended option for the con uh, for the country to adopt uh, their specific requirement while maintaining the core data points. And the dashboard uh, standard and custom dashboard based on the multiple ICD with uh, special motility tabulation list um, and ICD chapter Y analysis. Uh, and the dashboard, we can use it to import back to the WSO tool for uh, enhance, the, enhance the analysis and uh, translation and administration just the uh, advanced option for people can later after installation they can add more attribute for the uh, because you know the ICD element for best we on top of the uh, BS2 tracker model so so it's it when when it's installed after, after installing so we can go to the tracker factor or go to the maintenance and go to the program to add more attribute, but in the app, uh, they they also allow to add more attribute for. So when you add the attribute, so in the data entry form, you can see that distribution of on the form. Yeah, um, now let's move on the, with the demo. So, uh, let's see, okay. Um, at, at, um, as I told you, like um, the first, um, this is about the installation. Like, uh, let me log into this instance. And when you opening the app here, the app menu, and go to the ICD event for best, click on this. Um, uh, this is the first time uh, I open the, the app in this instance. And so there's, it's, um, there's no, it's, it's not installed the, uh, the app. Uh, then, as, as I mentioned before, we have two options before installation and custom installation. But um, I recommend I recommend using the custom installation if for the instance that already have some attribute or already used for another program because we can reuse some attribute for this uh, core test uh, program. Um, for the default installation, uh, you can also use this, but uh, it's just for you for the empty instance, like there's no attribute, there's no development, that's totally a new instance. So uh, in this case, I will uh, show you how custom installation work. Um, so for the custom installation, so the first step is attribute, like I, I told you custom installation, you for the instance that already have some program, we can reuse some like for example, token entity type, or uh, some token entity attribute. So he, um, uh, some many uh, right here, there may a uh, few options for the name, like uh, some copy that they don't need to collect the name of the pension. So yeah, so then for example, right here, we, we choose the first and last name. So that's why he, we can uh, use the first and last name for, we can choose the first and last name for the copy. Okay. Um, yeah. And uh, this one, um, just uh, like uh, this design, um, this attribute here is required for the corpus program. So that's why we have to map on the attribute for the of the corpus program to the aesthetic uh, and entity attribute we have in the instance. Uh, but some country they have something more for the like they want to collect more information about for symbol they can have national ID uh, ID so we can add uh, other attribute but this one is not required for for the uh program. Uh, the frame I if uh, you understand about the uh, medical. Uh, a certificate of corpus, so you will be familiar with the frame A and frame B. That's just the uh, program style um, for the for the corpus program. This is a tracker program, so that's why on uh, when uh, when you look on the corpus on the it's list on the data element in the uh, this one is the program test session. So in the in this program test session, and uh, you can feel um you can uh, you feel free to like add more session if like uh, your organization uh, require more session for the 
for the my but um in in the college program for for the for this app we require this determinant yeah this is it uh, because we working with uh WSO, so they they um yeah the, this is the standard form for the medical certificate of uh of death. Uh, it's similar with the frame B, um, but in the frame B, uh, you can choose to not include the this, this session into the frame B. Uh, for the frame I, this session is required, so that's why you, can, you cannot uh, do anything. Like you cannot remove this session from the program. Um, in this step, uh, you can uh, select the level you assign for the program and then, uh, yeah. Uh, in this, uh, and this, the the program is uh, asking for a particular user group, like uh, for example, admin group. So, we choose the admin capital, we choose capital. Um, why why we need that? I will uh I would I will mention you later why we need the uh to to assign the right uh user group for the program for the core based app. Uh, after that. The last step is just uh, review everything and click on install. So right now, I'm not click on install right now because this uh this uh, I do for all the demo, for the most through on other meetings so that's why. So and then uh if after you install so this is the instant I already installed the app. So now I will um demo how the then that entry look like. Um. Uh, open the app menu and go to the core desktop, and um. <clears throat> so now the app is uh, will not ask you for installation anything, uh, and so it will uh this is the 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 main uh screen when you open the app after installing, and uh. Um, you remember like uh the the uh, six steps we assign the user group for the for the core desk program. If I mean for the app, so if we work for this menu because for the use user group with the capture permission, they just only see the data entry. For the asset, they can see the dashboard and uh, anacard dashboard, and for the admin um admin user group, they can see on the uh, filter here. So now, uh, I will let um you know how the yeah uh, that entry work. So um because you remember that's where we assign the program to um to the the the, the last uh, to the level four uh optimist right. So that's why when you click on the uh, for optimist for it will list on the record they already. They already enter for for the for the program, and here you we can add new uh, registration or we can search for the uh, existing uh, record. Um, um, how it works? So um, so on. You remember at the first step we uh assign the attribute for for the for that program. All attribute will be uh show up in the profile, and you after you enter on the data for the profile it will open the um the program style for um for on the on the left side uh this will let me do so. <clears throat> So when when I click on save, so it will open the the program state frame A and frame B. So we, uh, you know, uh, in the frame A, I don't have any uh, other session. Like uh, you remember that about the step we uh, add other step uh, session for the frame A. If we have other session, it will show up after the uh com com compute button. Um, here um. Let's see how the ICD eleven iteration in. Uh, so it will be here. So when you click on this and uh, click on the first uh, test view, first first thing I uh, type uh, 
tuberculosis um, into the this one like the cholesterol, cholesterol and um, that's it. Uh, how, uh, uh, you know, this um, this bubble is the 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 ICD eleven uh, tool that I embedded from the the facial tool. Um, and uh, the other thing for the downtown tree is the dorsal tool. Like uh, after we enter the the cortex, so if we uh, get uh, uh if we get us the the cost of the ICD eleven for the reason for this reason uh that's linked to the cup desk. But for example, if you have more for example SID you, know, you can add in the, the next line. And um uh we have two uh reason uh of cup desk here like it's not the reason cup desk like it's just the the disease uh the this we both have right so uh, but we don't know which one is the main uh, reason that lead to the to the less. So, uh, for example, um, but actually, um, if the hair worker they enter the doctor, they can they know which one they lead to that. But uh, in Sky, uh, if they can do the compute button uh, to check. Yeah, it will automatically um, select the 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 um the reason uh why that lead to the desk and this is the the combo pattern we uh is the uh connect to the direct tool uh the rest tool actually it's just the ibi uh that's i provide the icd 11 code and and that's it's return me the the reason why uh it choose the siv disease uh, is the main uh, reason that lead to the death for this person and uh, after you done everything, just uh, click on save. Uh, in here, uh, we can uh, um, yeah. After we have the 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 uh, result, that's uh, then we know this um this disease lead to the death. So we can click on the certificate to bring the certificate. Uh, yeah. But how to con con uh, configure uh, config this? This certificate, I, uh, I will mention. I will mention you later about that. Um, that's for that entry, and uh, that's for yeah. This that where we work. Um, yeah, with the different or to build the dashboard like uh, what um, some uh chart uh, that's the data to cannot support and it had to use the um option group and to uh, an option book set to build the uh, this that board uh this chart something some chart look very different with the visualization we have in the directory like this one too uh that's we work with to um develop to build this dashboard and uh and like this board uh, uh we use to um, run the this is the the format from the WSO and uh, if you guys are familiar with the the uh, ICD eleven, you know we can uh, export this one and import it back to the WSO tool for better analysis. Like they can compare, they will um, WSO tool will use this for comparison with the um other country. Uh, like I told you, like uh, the administration, like here you can add other uh attribute. And also, yeah, here we can uh, con config your ICD, your, your CDK, like in the data entry, uh, when we um, bring the CDK. So here we can add more, uh, uh, like uh, when we look on add the item to the body. So here we have uh, environment information, the drop it into the attribute when data element here. We can add more and also you can order it by yourself for the yeah for the footer to plan. Um and uh, on the left side it will review the certificate. Uh actually uh, many countries don't they they have some uh, uh template for the certificate, but uh yeah, I'm working on that one. Uh not, it's not finished yet, yeah. That's job. Um, so now that's my demo, so let's uh, move on the 
uh, technical things. Um, Before we get to that, uh, there was a question, and that was about uh, translations. Uh, can the app be displayed in French? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot about that one. Uh, in translation, yeah. yeah. Uh, here, uh, we can, uh, actually, here we can, um, if it, um, this, this is I, I, some, some translation for it in French and in, um, uh, Arabic. Uh, but, uh, you guys can add more translation possible for Lao. Um, Um, uh, for example, Philip, uh, Filipino, yeah, and then you can add uh, uh, your the the translation for the uh in in Filipino by yourself. Like actually, it's uh it's uh why I choose to make this one because uh, it's flexible for you can uh, like uh, uh change the form like in the form you can. Yeah, uh, translate the form, uh, in, uh, by yourself, like, yeah, uh, uh, another better to do the translation, like you can uh, export the translation, uh, and in, uh, in, for example, in Filipino, in, uh, yeah, in, and then you do the translation in the, um, Excel file, yeah, then you can import, you that one to import it back to, to the, to the app. Yeah, this is this, this will look like this one. And then uh just do the translation on the SF and import it back to the uh, using the inbox translation. Yep. Yeah. Uh any question about my demo? So I, we can move on the technical things. Yeah, feel free to move on. Okay. Um actually, um uh let um let me sort the code. Uh, no, um, you know, um, the, my app is built on top of React, and uh, so that's why when I uh, this this one is the folder project. Um, when you click on the folder, the structure of the my folder project, you can it's similar. If you if you know about React, so it's uh similar like uh it have the. Uh, show a folder, and in this one, I um uh, took the like the component for uh this filter like for administration for the uh dashboard, export, and data entry form. Um, uh, yeah, some um and and also I use some reduct to manage all the style for the uh graph, and also some use some uh, other. Uh, I also do and design and material UI for for the app. Um, or the library like the uh XL SSX is for um, and the cost is for. So we have to export the the add cost box by Excel file and also for translation too. Uh, and uh, using the chart CX for dashboard. Um uh, nothing special for for this one, but uh, uh, here, uh, the app, if you want to run the app, so you have to, you, you need to have the tracker capture app call. Uh, why we need, uh, to have app tracker capture app call? Uh, at you, I, I think you may know about this to UI, right? So actually it work, uh, same with the this to UI, like, uh, because, um yeah. uh, a few years ago here Vietnam uh, developed uh, many tracker capture apps uh, so um, for Laos for Cambodia uh, and they uh, so so that's why uh, my team lead, they he 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 decided to uh, develop the tracker capture app in here we have some com uh, common components like uh, for example the we hit you can see here like in in both few uh hierarchy solicitor like uh, it's both the same at uh, uh data to ui 
and uh, also there's some hope uh, like USBI to uh, like um, query the data or metadata. Um, yeah, that uh, like when I when I actually I'm not work at the beginning of the process. I just jump into in the middle of the process. So, uh, some of my colleagues they already use Tracker Capture app course. So I just follow it and yeah, uh, learn more about Tracker Capture app course to do it for uh the cloud test. Um. Uh, so in order to you um uh, tracker app capture app call so uh first you have to go to the the tracker capture app call project folder and uh, do the yan install and yan build and yan link and go to the rack and wrap them to do the yan link after that uh if you want to uh go to the uh actually relevant uh, go to the cloud desk project and link the project with uh, the Tracker Capture App Core in order to you own the common in the Tracker Capture App Core and also uh, remember to link because um, the Cloudflare itself don't have the React and React them so because so that's why you have to link to the React and React them into the Tracker Capture App Core. Yeah, that's uh, what Hippiecam do for all the Tracker Capture App uh, in, in BAS. But yeah, we um one more thing uh about the data store um um uh when when you install the app so the app will write the data store in the in your instant uh, it's named WTO ICD element protest. And this one he used to contain the configuration of the certificate template. Like you remember the template uh, I saw you uh like we can add uh art attribute or uh, data money to the template. So he is with uh contain everything for the uh yeah for the like he and the uh, country code theme on the configuration needed for the app, like for mapping, full name option, yeah, and relation to. Uh, yeah, all the generation is stored in the data store. Um, what else? Uh, let's see. Um, about the. And uh, we have, um, in the, in the cloud test uh, capture app process, uh, uh, we have the environment. Um, so sorry, some sensitive uh, information. Okay, uh, that's the like we can provide the um, that um, this one is for test. So that's why I am leave the URL and username password here. But if you want to uh, be with for the uh production or for the deployment, uh, just leave like this and uh, leave the username backward thing here. And, yeah. Uh, that's for the structure of an uh, frontend framework we library in IU in the graph. So let's move on the technical dis discussion. Um, about um, the embedded uh, classification tool. Uh, as I saw you, like when we click on the test field, we open the uh, pop-up to show the ICD element code. Um, um, yeah, uh, you can find more, like, um, because you know, uh, uh, on the ICD element code, uh, I store it like the uh, op option, in option sets. So uh, in order to use for analysis and also for the, um, yeah, yeah, for the dashboard, the dashboard use some analysis for option group and option group set. So that's why on the, when, when, when you, uh, like, um, select the, uh, underlying cloud test, if we store the code of the IC11 for the analysis, so that's why, um, uh, on, uh, on the course is stored under the, the, the option. Um, 
but uh, the thing here, so how I can integrate the um, ICT into the complex. So let's look at it. Um, <clears throat> Um, right here, I see this tool. Um, actually, for the information about how to embed it, uh, I see this to the uh, to the app, so you can uh, uh, go to the link here that I see the place so in and I see the IBI, and uh, you can find it somewhere. Yeah, uh, right here we have the embedded uh, classification tool. Uh, there's, there's some uh, in, more info, like helpful information, like how you can uh, interface into the uh, uh, web, into your web app. Here, there's some example for Angular, uh, Angular and Graphs too. Uh, at the course, so for in, uh, you, you know, first you have we have to uh, import the the library from the ICD when uh, ECT and uh, right here we uh, provide the for uh, they have the format for this setting so the important thing here is the the IBI server URL here I do the the test, uh, like this is the developer test. Uh, uh, this one provided by the place. So, but um, I will actually, uh, you know, um, we can uh, the thing here is like in Sky if um when you install the app, so this is the option. Uh, when when you first install the app, here it's also ask you to use the global WSO ICD tool. It's, it's, it's the, this is the URL, you see. But if you have another ICD tool, like because some uh, organization they don't want to use the, uh, this uh, uh, ICD element from uh, global or uh, from the global test, so they can. Um, uh, do this uh, document to install uh, the the uh, ICD IBI by by themselves and also provide the link here and uh, right there right here um, we uh, uh, right here it should be the the link that's uh, uh, access to the uh, the the ICD eleven uh, eleven IBI they they already installed. Uh, and you can find in here, so there's more information about how to uh, install the ICD API local. Um, yeah, <clears throat> you can read this uh, document and uh, here is say, uh, if you have the uh, ICD element API hot in somewhere, you can uh, use it and uh, just symbol uh, pass the URL here. And the tool we connect to that's uh, to to the your to your IBIs uh, uh, to get the uh, to to get IBI to get the to open the the the, the bubble. <coughs> um. The next thing is about the Doris tool. Um. Yeah, the Doris tool here. Uh, actually, it I, I, as I told you, like when we uh, click on the compose button, it just uh uh go uh do some do a action like it's revert to the uh ICD eleven API. Uh, this is the end end point for the Doris tool, and just um provide the, the parameter required for uh, the rest tool can uh, uh, return the main read. Uh, actually, the parameter you need to see the code test, code A, code S, code B, and code S, code C, and 
Go back for the um, and then it should return the main reason the lead to death for based on the score. Um, uh, the uh, the important the important piece is um, you have to have the token to do to access to you on the uh, ICD uh, 11 um, IBI. So, uh, <clears throat> that's why uh, right here, um, we have another, because that, that uh, token we can access, uh, go, uh, go to, uh, access to the, uh, connect to the uh, IBI connect, and this is the end bar to get the token. And if you have the token, you uh, at least in the in the hit the upload your request and then just uh request it to the to this inbox to get the reserve for from from the various screen. Um. Anything else? Yeah. Um. Yeah. About the um. Docker capture app call and uh, there's two UI and there's two app runtime. Uh, as I told you, like I zoom into the project uh, at the middle. So actually, uh, we know about that two UI, but uh, at that time, uh, it's it's uh like it's got more time and to re redo everything. So that's why we we stick around with the Docker capture app call. Uh, so tracker app call, app call right now is not being not being used for any uh tracker tracker project uh, in hip Vietnam. Um but um uh, in the future we may think about uh change the tracker tracker app call uh, for to the uh day to UI and day to app runtime for for this app. But uh yeah, it will take some time. Yeah, it's we to do uh, many things for uh for that yeah and um uh for the upcoming future so we think about you know uh the because the ICD have an option that uh, as I told you like we have seventeen thousand the the cost for the uh ICD eleven so that's why uh when we open the app so it's we uh lacking the 17,000 option uh and you it take some time like to lock in on the option so we think about how the ID solution to make it better like uh maybe uh not waiting for all the option lacking should open the app and uh, yeah just uh check the valid uh, option later when they enter the uh, underlying call base and uh, the metadata uh, in what's the, the metadata because um metadata here we when 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 we install the app so it will import on the metadata needed for the program like uh like uh, attribute data element like um uh, and the option for the ICD eleven right here. Yeah. Um, in all the metadata met met for the program. So actually it's in the in the show, show folder. And when we like um uh, uh build the build the app, so it's the size of the app quite long with the, the metadata. So we think about maybe hot is somewhere on um on cloud and uh when they install the app, it's just connect to uh, the, the cloud to download on the metadata to install, to embark on the metadata when installing the app. Um, the custom circuit, uh, like I told you, like uh, the default circuit right now is not uh, suitable for many organizations. They have the template for the circuit. So that's why um, we, uh, make another uh, option for people can uh, design their survey by themselves uh, but um it's, it's, I, I'm, I'm still working on us on that so yeah and um in the future we have plan to 
um, support and not only for mortality, we also support for uh, morbidity, like uh, when uh, on the on the research uh, on the trial record of the morbidity with the result is the uh, death, so we will be transferred to the mortality automatically. So we think about maybe quite some risk in the in the custom form of the uh, morbidity uh, of the morbidity to print when they click on the result, the outcome like that. So it will automatically uh, transfer that record into the mortality. That that's just the plan. So we not uh, uh, do anything for that thing. And um, uh, right now many countries still using ICD-10. So uh, uh, maybe uh, we have planned to build the same app for ICD-10 use only. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, on uh, my presentation so about the ICD-10 contest. So you have any question? Thank you so much. Um, it was a great presentation. Um, there are some questions, so I'll, I'll go through them. Um, one question is, will the app work offline on Android? And considering this is a web application, I'm, I'm guessing the answer is no, but I'll... Yeah. yeah. Is, there, is there a plan for Android? Uh, no, we don't, we don't have a plan for Android yet. So. Okay. Because, you know, for the... It's... Uh, for the cloud desk, uh, at the form you told, I, I, I saw it to you, it's uh, a lot and uh, it's easy to make a mistake to enter the code. So that's why better to enter it on the yeah, But for Android, which we think maybe just uh, implement the dashboard or just view the data, not for enter the data. But we don't have the then yet for Android. All right. Um... And the que another question is, uh, once ICD-11 is integrated for this module, could it be accessed from other DHAS2 modules? Um, yeah, uh, let I show you. Uh, this is the internet already uh, is on, right? So uh, I, I told you it's be on top of uh, the two tracker model. So it means when you install the app, so it's also import the, on the metadata. We need it for the app, so we can go to the maintenance to see <coughs> to, um, to see uh, the 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 program is already there. Uh, pretty first. So, yeah, it's already there. it's um uh, like when you install the app, it import everything in into the into the instance like this program and all the attribute, program style, and you know, the asset we set for, no, not this one. Uh, the setting setting we set for the uh, for the app is also setting for the program too. <clears throat> All right. Um... That makes sense. Thank you. Um, a new question just came in, <laughs> just in time. Uh, so if there is an Android or iOS application, so we answer that. Uh, but the um, second one is, what would be the recommended solution to import data entered into the old SMOL module uh, to this one? So, uh, but um, my question is, uh, this uh, SMOL model using the ICD-11, right? So mm -hmm. if, if, if yes, so yeah, I'm someone from VPNM can support to yeah, evolve, you know, uh, like uh, this data here is, we also write some the mid, that is set the mid data, but we bought it from somewhere. So yeah, uh, if we, uh, in your case, it's, it's you ICD-11, so we can have to import this to the, uh, to, into the this app, into this app. But um, you know, uh, uh, if you already have the SMOL uh into in your instance, uh, I think uh I can we can have to like uh install the app like because uh when we install the app uh you you see um, the installation process right 
So if you ask for mapping the data and the uh, attributes, so I think we we can help like uh, do the mapping for you and you can use the app in your own SMOIL module, the program. You, you got what I mean, right? <clears throat> like uh, the thing here is just the mapping. So when we do the correct mapping, so on the data you already have in your instance, it will show on the app. All right. Because um, yeah. you know in the data store, it's uh, it's uh store the configuration of uh I saw uh of it's not that the store. Um yes from mapping. So the thing if you already have the SMOI in your instance, so we can change the mapping here and then yeah, if all the data will be in you will show on in the app. So we don't need to install it. All right. Nice. Um, um, there, there is a question about uh, ICD production credentials, um, and uh, it's from Walter, and he says, um, is it safe to embed the credentials in an app, or should you set up a backend service that would then send and return a token? Yeah, it depends. Uh, actually, right now, the app, the, yeah. If for the technical guys, I think they can use the token to do something else. But you know the 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 IBI for that's the place or uh, provide first. Like it's just for query. There's no uh nothing else to like manipulate the data for the ICD. So I think the 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 token is just only used for query the data. So and if you cannot man manipulate where your data is just like uh you know like um what is uh, what is this uh, ICD code and and uh, how to know who, which one is the main reason for the corpus so it's not anything I think it's just the metadata not the like the data we so if someone storing this data they cannot do anything well so. Um, but it's depends. Like if your uh, organization uh, required for more secure uh, a solution, maybe I think just deploy the ICD relevant IBI somewhere, uh, and then you can yeah if you like to yeah. Um, for uh one more thing I want to show you like uh, in in order to use the um ICD IBI, you have to register for an account. Actually, right now the token here I have, uh, I use my account. It's not my account. It's the Hippie now account. Just uh to to have the client ID and client secret to it. Now when you register, uh, when you click on the register, it will ask your email and then it will send the client ID and client secret to to that email and then you can use. Uh, is to uh, uh we wait for the token to accept to the uh, uh ICD open API from the person. Yeah, that that my question he uh my my answer is open. It's the bank like uh if if uh, if you want more secure option so secure option you know, you, you you can uh uh deploy you can deploy the ICD open in your uh server. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Um, we're actually only five minutes, so there's uh, a little bit time for for any questions that, that come in. We've answered all of them so far. So thank you so much. Um, thank you also for the, the people who joined and and are watching this.